please subscribe. Last May, I got an early review of BMW's fresh out of the plastic new liter SUV, the 2019 X7. At the time, I'll audit the three push hybrids double characters as I spent the better piece of two days handling strong streets and rough trails in and around BMW's US home in Spartanburg, South Carolina. The model drive left me with grandiose desires, the X7 offered an extravagant ride, yet it could dial in the perfect measure of energy with only a couple of catch presses. All things considered, that early model test left me with a ton of inquiries, for the most part concerning in general inside solace and general usability. Following a second, progressively careful go-round of a generation model, I'm glad to report the X7 is as yet a stunning driver. Yet, in different zones, there's numerous a trade-off to be had. Having recently wrapped up a 2019 X5, the X7's inside obviously feels well known. The dashboard is just about the equivalent, with a couple of standard 12.3-inch screens hiding out to keep up forward perceivability. In any case, the region for driver and traveler has a similar issue as the X5, there's not a great deal of room to put stuff. The inside armrest cubby isn't especially profound, nor are the pockets in the entryways. While I value the remote charging dock in the middle comforts forward capacity territory, placing anything in the cup holders makes achieving your gadget practically incomprehensible. The second push commander seats additionally feel less extensive than I recollect. Collapsing the third column level to include load space likewise restrains the second lines for toward the back development driving taller travelers to feel somewhat confined, yet just in the legs, headroom stays adequate. The third line can suit grown-ups, however I wouldn't be agreeable back there for over an hour on end. Concerning payload space, I can't fit two rucksacks and two lightweight suitcase measure roller packs in back without collapsing the third push seats down, so don't hope to pull a group of seven of garbage over the Great Plains without a rooftop top box. In reasonableness, a similar space crunch influences the X7's kindred European opponents, also. Something else, this present BMW's inside is first rate. The X7's piece-sided style implies there's heaps of glass and, along these lines, bunches of perceivability every which way. The two-tone blue cow hide inside, not appeared and feels incredible, yet it's an exorbitant expansion at $5,150 for X7S with the i6, or $3,700 with the V8. That discretionary glass controls include a beautiful, if superfluous touch to the V8 model, some portion of a $2,100 bundle that additionally incorporates an all-encompassing rooftop with implanted LEDs, which looks just as cool as you might suspect it would. The principal half of my keep running from Spartanburg to Savannah is spent in the X7's X-Drive 50i variation. The X-Drive bit implies that this X7 packs all-wheel drive, which is really standard on both current X7 trims. The 50i segment of this current model's name suggests the bigger of two motors on offer, a 4.4-liter, twin-turbocharged V8 putting out 456 drive and 479 pound-feet of torque. The V8 is superb pointless success. A 5.2 second run to 60 miles for every hour may not appear to be such dapper, however when you're pushing a vehicle of this size at that rate, it feels brisk. The motor is shockingly boisterous all around, thanks to some degree to this current vehicle's discretionary M Sport bundle, which includes a beefier fumes, a couple of M identifications and a by and large increasingly forceful outside. The sound is really astounding, with a profound, nearly muscle vehicle like Burbill. With the knock dousing air suspension framework, energetic controlling and pedals that are anything but difficult to adjust, it's anything but difficult to burrow the X7. It's still bounty incredible on the roadway, as well, drifting along and furnishing a rich ride with a lot of anti-pin influence for path changes. It's shockingly amusing to drive, and it feels in accordance with BMW's endeavors recently to convey agreeable vehicles that still fail on the dynamic side. Most people will likely decide on the base motor, however. 
This one is a 3.0-liter, single-turbo i6 that makes 335 horsepower and 330 pounds to foot it may not sound as exemplary or quick and as fast minus 60 miles per hour lands in 5.8 seconds, yet it additionally thumps more than $18,000 off the window sticker. Regardless it feels fast, however the motor is lighter and that decreased mass leaves the front end feeling marginally less formed over knocks. Regardless of the motor, the standard 8-speed program transmission scarcely makes its reality known to me, swapping machine gear pieces easily out of sight and setting aside little effort to call up lower gears when it's an ideal opportunity to put the sledge down on the entrance ramp. In any case, paying little heed to display, the X7 has one major downside, wind and tire clamor. The X7's inside is somewhat less vault-like than anticipated, however I'll require additional time on various types of asphalt before I'm willing to discard the good along with the bad and state its uproarious constantly. For most of my excursion, however, there's a great deal of undesirable clamor in the lodge. Everything that is new and note for the on the X5 is available in the X7, also. The principal thing most people will notice is the pair of 12.3-inch screens on the dashboard. The check punch screen is configurable, and it spreads out data in a direct manner with structures that change dependent on vehicle mode, yet the map between the tachometer and speedometer is just valuable when turn-by-turn -turn route is empowered, it needs road names, so it's commonly pointless for on-the-fly stuff. The infotainment screen houses the most recent adaptation of BMW's iDrive framework. Contactability is an appreciated expansion, offering an additional level of control over the standard rotational controller. iDrive can show different tiles on the home screen, giving me a lot of data initially, or it can give inside and out data on a solitary subject. It's responsive and appealing, and its regular language voice acknowledgement can be empowered with a preset voice direction. It defaults to BMW, however custom directions, harder to actuate on mishap, can be customized in, as well. This X7 additionally comes furnished with BMW's discretionary driving assistance professional bundle. This idea is up an entire host of security frameworks including dynamic path keep help, program path change help and versatile journey control with unpredictable usefulness. It works incredible on these significant lots of expressway, holding its path position well while not being excessively overwhelming on the gas or brakes as traffic requires. Like the X5, I observe path keep help to be a little ponderous in its standard remedies, and the path change help means an abundant excess time between hitting the signal and making a move, yet generally the framework comes right. Despite the fact that its sticker price may appear to be high to the proletariat, $73,900 for the i6, $92,600 for the V8, the upper end of its window sticker is really aggressive with correspondingly prepared contributions from Mercedes-Benz and Land Rover. A V8 Mercedes GLS class, for instance, begins at $95,000, while a V8 Range Rover just peaks $100,000. The X7 is a hybrid of trade-off. It's not too much enormous, which means load and individuals periodically do fight for the space inside. It's designed to not be a complete rest fest, so there's an exercise in careful control among fun and solace that unavoidably leaves some material on the cutting room floor. Be that as it may, while there's trade-off, it results in a bundle that still feels completely prepared with regards to the sort of everyday drudgery driving that most proprietors will understanding. The X7 situation as a leader SUV implies it should be the best and most splendid, and I feel it prevails in such manner.